Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Saturday, October 13th, and today we celebrate in the church the, um, the memorial feast of, of uh, Saint, shoot, Saint Francis Xavier Cabrini, Mother Cabrini. So friends, let's begin our morning prayer with the invitatory. <clears throat> Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship the Lamb with the virgins who followed him. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa. They challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the Lamb with the virgins who followed him. <clears throat> Christ is the world's light, he and none other. Born in our darkness, he became our brother. If we have seen him, we have seen the Father. Glory to God on high. Christ is the world's peace, He and none other. No man can serve Him and despise His brother. Who else unites us, one in God the Father? Glory to God on high. Christ is the world's life, he and none other. Once sold for silver, he be murdered here our brother. He who redeems us reigns with God the Father. Glory to God on high. Give God the glory, God and none other. Give God the glory, Spirit, Son, and Father. Give God the glory, God in man, my brother. Glory to God on high. We do well to sing to your name, Most High, and proclaim your mercy at daybreak. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning and your truth in the watches of the night, on the ten-string lyre and the lute, with the murmuring sound of the harp. Your deeds, O Lord, have made me glad. For the work of your hands I shout with joy. O Lord, how great are your works, how deep are your designs. The foolish man cannot know this, and the fool cannot understand. Though the wicked spring up like grass, and all who do evil thrive, they are doomed to be eternally destroyed. But you, Lord, are eternally on high. 
See how your enemies perish. All doers of evil are scattered. To me you give the wild ox's strength. You anoint me with the purest oil. My eyes looked in triumph on my foes. My ears heard gladly of their fall. The just will flourish like the palm tree and grow like a Lebanon cedar. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God, still bearing fruit when they are old, still full of sap, still green, to proclaim that the Lord is just. In him, my rock, there is no wrong. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Take our shame away from us, Lord, and make us rejoice in your saving works. May all who have been chosen by your Son always abound in works of faith, hope, and love in your service. We do well to sing to your name, Most High, and proclaim your mercy at daybreak. I will create a new heart in you and breathe into you a new spirit. I will, take you from, I will take you away from among the nations, gather you from all the foreign lands, and bring you back to your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you to cleanse you from all your impurities, and from all your idols I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you, taking from your bodies your stony hearts and giving you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live by my statutes, careful to observe my decrees. You shall live in the land I gave your fathers. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I will create a new heart in you, and breathe into you a new spirit. On the lips of children and infants, you have found perfect praise. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth! Your majesty is praised above the heavens. On the lips of children and of babes, you have found praise to foil your enemy, to silence the foe and the rebel. When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you arranged, what is man that you should keep him in mind? Mortal man, that you care for him. Yet you have made him little less than a god. With glory and honor you crowned him, gave him power over the works of your hand, put all things under his feet, all of them sheep and cattle, yes, even the savage beasts, birds of the air, and fish that make their way through the waters. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Almighty Lord, how wonderful is your name! You have made every creature subject to you. Make us worthy to give you service. On the lips of children and infants you have found perfect praise. A reading from the Song of Songs. Deep water cannot quench love, nor floods sweep it away. Were one to offer all he owns to purchase love, he would be roundly mocked. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My heart is ever pleading. Show me your face. My heart is ever pleading. Show me your face. I long to gaze on you, Lord. Excuse me. I long to gaze upon you, Lord. Show me your face. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. My heart is ever pleading. Show me your face. Now this wise virgin has gone to Christ. Among the choirs of virgins, she is radiant as the sun in the heavens. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. 
He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now this wise virgin has gone to Christ. Among the choirs of virgins, she is radiant as the sun in the heavens. Christ is the spouse and crowning glory of virgins. Let us praise him with joy in our voices and pray to him with sincerity in our hearts. Jesus, crown of virgins, hear us. Christ, the holy virgins, loved you as their one true spouse. Grant that nothing may separate us from your love. Jesus, crown of virgins, hear us. You crowned Mary, your mother, queen of virgins. Through her intercession, let us continually serve you with pure hearts. Jesus, crown of virgins, hear us. Your handmaids were always careful to love you with whole and undivided attention, that they might be holy in body and spirit. Jesus, crown of virgins, hear us. Sorry, I truncated that last uh, intercession. Your handmaids were always careful to love you with whole and undivided attention, that they might be holy in body and spirit. Through their intercession, grant that the lure of this passing world may not distract our attention from you. Jesus, crown of virgins, hear us. Lord Jesus, you are the spouse whose coming was anticipated by the wise virgins, Grant that we may wait for you in hope and expectation. Jesus, crown of virgins, hear us. Through the intercession of St. Francis Xavier Cabrini, who is one of the wise and prudent virgins, grant us wisdom and innocence of life. Jesus, crown of virgins, hear us. Gathering these intentions, these prayers, calling to mind the prayers and intentions of our own hearts, we lift up our voices using those sacred words of Jesus himself. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God, our Father, you called St. Francis Xavier Cabrini from Italy to serve the immigrants of America. By her example, teach us concern for the stranger, the sick, and the frustrated. By her prayers, help us to see Christ in the men and women we meet. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And friends, thank you for joining me today for morning prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours. Indeed, it is a, a gift, a, a grace, a treasure to pray this prayer of the Church, the Liturgy of the Hours, to pray the prayer of the Church with the Church, pray on behalf of the church, but to pray through the church, offering our prayers for ourselves, but for all of those um, who are dear to us, all of those that we've 
uh, all of those that we've promised to pray for. Friends, whether you are out and about today, whether you are staying in, remember to be safe today, remember to be healthy today, but above all, remember to be holy today, to be one of those wise and prudent saints like St. Mother Cabrini, to live your life united with Christ. May God be praised in you, may God be praised through you, and friends, I do hope that you have a beautiful day today.